welcome to another episode of Miss Sarah's special summer SRP story time. It's Blue Week. Can you tell? It's Blue Week here at the library. So we are going to be celebrating all things that are blue. And what's more blue and covers more of the world than the ocean? Oh, it's so cool. We have a very special guest that's going to tell us a little bit about the ocean where she's from but before we get to that let's 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 recap it's srp have you guys signed up yet because if you haven't you should really go to srp.rivlive.net to sign up you know why because there's all kinds of amazing activities on the srp website on top of the fact that you get to watch a really cool performance every weekend Yes, a really cool performance that's going to take place every weekend, starting Friday at 7 p.m. to Sunday at 7 p.m. And this week, since it's Blue Week, we have a visit from the Aquarium of the Pacific. They have a Draw With Us program where we get to learn how to draw things with the aquarium. Oh, it's going to be so much fun. We're going to see all kinds of animals, and it's going to be amazing to see everything that lives under the ocean. Okay, well, not everything, because there's a lot that live under that lives under the ocean, but we're going to get to see quite a bit, and it's going to be so much fun. So I hope you guys sign up, and I hope you guys watch this weekend. But now, um, one final announcement. We have a take and make. You can come pick up here at the library. Yes, a take and make just from us here at the library. It's called a sun printing take and make. Yes, you can make your own blueprint from the sun. Oh, it's going to be so cool. Okay, so um, I don't know a whole bunch about it. You guys probably don't know a whole bunch about it either. But if you pick up our kit, you're going to get to learn what sun printing is. You'll even get to watch a video. So much fun. Okay, now I have a very special guest, a friend of mine. She is a teacher and her family is from the Philippines. Yes, the Philippines. Oh, it's so cool to learn about new countries. She's going to give us a little tour of some of the beaches around the Philippines and a little bit about where her family's from. So let's go. I'm so excited. Welcome to my classroom. My name is Mrs. Banzon and I'm here to share with you my country, the Philippines, and my favorite color blue. And today, I want to invite every single one of you to come join me in a virtual field trip to the Philippines. I will take you to the paradise. The paradise in the Philippines are the so-called beautiful beaches. Our beaches in the Philippines have very, very, very pristine blue waters. Come and join me. Whew. I just got done packing. Now, I'm so excited to go and take everybody else with me to this island hopping trip in the Philippines. First stop, the Gigantes Island, located in Iloilo. Gigantes Islands, also known as Islas de Gigantes, is blessed with spectacular sceneries, clear waters, and white sand beaches. The rich, vast blue seascape, brimming with rich marine life, interesting caverns and caves, Palawan-like rock formations, and the long stretch of white sand beaches are just some of the reasons for people to visit the place. Gigantes Islands is composed of two big islands, Gigantes Norte and Gigantes Sur, and 10 islets. Next stop, the 100 Islands. 100 Islands is located in Pangasinan. Do you guys know Pangasinan is where my mom is from? I visited their province numerous times as a kid. And in Pangasinan, they spoke a native uh, dialect. Uh, they speak Ilocano. I can't speak it, but if I hear it, I can understand it. At first, I initially thought that it is indeed a total of 100 islands only to be informed later on that there are a total of 123 isles during high tide and 124 during low tide season. The last on our list is El Nido. We are going to visit El Nido and in El Nido there are two places that we're going to go to. 
the small lagoon and the big lagoon. Do you guys know what a lagoon is? So a lagoon is pretty much a pond or a lake. It comes from an Italian word, laguna, um, that means a, a, a pond or a lake. Tucked away behind a towering limestone cliff lies the incredible small lagoon El Nido. It's one of the most popular island hopping stops and for good reason. Hidden from view, you enter through a small hole in the limestone only to be met with a large open space and turquoise blue waters. The Big Lagoon is truly an incredible sight from the air, from your kayak and underwater. It has it all. A narrow and shallow entrance channel leads you out into a giant lagoon surrounded by epic limestone cliffs. My favorite part was the left arm, which has some sharp coral at the entry, but is characterized by dazzlingly bright blue water. Alright guys, thanks for island hopping with me. Happy summer and have fun reading with Miss Sarah. Wow, weren't those ocean waters so cool? They look like they belong in the movies. They just look so pretty and beautiful that they couldn't possibly be real. But the cool thing is, they are. There's oceans and beaches like that all over the world. So it's so cool to finally get to see a little bit about some of the places that we've probably never been to. So thank you, Miss B, for showing us a little bit about the country where your family's from. And now to continue, we have a great ocean book. Here we go. It's called Shine. Shine, look, it's a little starfish. Oh, let's make sure we give a big thank you to Little Brown and Company for giving us permission to read this book. Here we go. Little Hoshi was a star, a sea star who lived in the ocean. Every night she would gaze at the twinkling stars in the sky above and make a wish. I wish I were there instead of here. Up there where all is fine. Up there where I would shine. Oh, poor little me, a star stuck in the sea. She doesn't want to be a sea star. As the sun rose and the stars disappeared, the tide swept little Hoshi back into the water. I should be floating among colorful planets, Hoshi thought. As she floated among the colorful coral, there's color already there. Imagine all the unique and wonderful friends you can meet up there. She told her unique and wonderful friends. Up there, there are exciting and endless possibilities, she explained to the exciting and endless school of minnows. Oh, where you could swear could you see something so magnificent down here? She doesn't think there's anything wonderful there. She wondered aloud to the magnificent blue whale. It's right in front of her. I want to shine, cried little Hoshi. I wish I was there instead of here. Down here, nothing is fine. Down here, I'll never shine. Oh, poor little me, a star stuck in the sea. Everyone tried to cheer her up, but she turned and swam far away. Down, down, down into the deepest waters where she floated to the murky bottom. Look at, she's going all the way down. Little Hoshi gazed out into the darkness until she saw a star. Look at that. <gasps> she closed her eyes and made a wish. Oh, make a wish. <gasps> the star came closer. Closer and closer. What is it? <gasps> but it wasn't a star at all. It was an anglerfish with her glowing light. Why are you here and not up there? The angler anglerfish asked the little sea star. That's what I want to know, said Hoshi. Oh, could you? Would you tell me how to shine? She wants the anglerfish to teach her. It's my pleasure, said the anglerfish. I shine because I'm happy. Happy to be here. Happy to be there. Happy to be anywhere. Because happiness, my dear, 
is always found right here. Where do you think happiness is always found? <gasps> and the anglerfish pointed to her heart and shined. <gasps> and all her deep sea mates joined in. Oh, wee! said little Hoshi. Thank you. They're happy in their hearts, so they shine. <gasps> and she swam up. Look at, she's going back home. Where everyone welcomed her home. She gazed at her colorful, magnificent world and her unique and wonderful friends. And for the first time, she saw so many exciting and endless possibilities. Look at, it's beautiful where she lives already. Then little Hoshi looked into her happy heart. And what do you think happened? And shined. Oh, little Hoshi shined. The end. Here we go. Shine. Oh, it's such a cute little story. You don't need to go other places to be happy. You can be happy with all the wonderful, unique things in the world you already live in. Your own home, your own neighborhood, your family, your friends. They're all wonderful and unique in their own ways. Oh, such a great book. All right, friends, that about does it for story time. We have one final thing. What is it? We have our song to sing. All right, so nice and loud. If you know it at home, stand up nice and loud with me. Here we go. We had a good day. We had a great day. So pat yourself on the back. We had a good day. We had a great day. So pat yourself on the back. We thought a lot today. We learned in many ways. So kiss your brain. Mwah. We thought a lot today. We learned in many ways. So kiss your brain. Mwah. If you had fun today, then please say thank you. You are all very welcome. If you had fun today, then please say thank you. You are all very welcome. So we'll say so long and end with the song until I see you all again. So we'll say so long and end with the song until I see you all again. All right, friends, thank you so much for joining me for this Blue Week special SRP story time. Don't forget this weekend we have the Aquarium of the, Sp the, aquarium of the Pacific. Wow, it's okay. We get tongue-tied sometimes. We just keep moving on. Aquarium of the Pacific. We might even get to see a starfish. You never know. So make sure you sign up. And I'll see you guys next week with a whole new color. Bye.